See, the greatest crime committed on this planet is the idea of heaven. Really? The greatest crime committed on this planet is the idea of paradise in the afterlife? What about genocide, slavery, or human trafficking? No, they just don't compare to the atrocious crime of believing in the idea of heaven. Because the moment you tell someone, this is not the place to live well, there's another place where you're going to go and live well. It's a crime against humanity. Grr, how dare they arrest them all? Because you're making sure people don't live well here, they'll wait to live well elsewhere. If you just listen to Sad Guru for five minutes, you'll very quickly pick up on the nonsense that comes out of him. But I don't think you have a clue of how the idea of heaven is viewed in various religions. All you do is strawman concepts and spew nonsense that sounds profound to the casual layperson. The concept of heaven is not intended to undermine the significance of life on earth, but rather to offer hope, purpose, and the promise of eternal life with God. Christians are encouraged to live fulfilling lives, serving others and seeking justice and righteousness while also placing their faith in the promise of heaven. I'm asking, do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and making a mess out of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. There is no evidence that we are currently living in heaven. For example, in Revelation, heaven is described as a place of no death, mourning, crying, or pain. There's just no logical coherence in your statement. If heaven is believed to be a place of perfection and bliss, it would be contradictory to suggest that someone is simultaneously making a mess of it. And you're the one making the claim here, so you can't be demanding proof of me. You need to provide concrete evidence to support your assertion. Without any substantial proof, it's rational to stick to what is supported by evidence evidence and personal experience that you are living in the present reality, not in heaven, and are not making a mess of it. Essentially, human experience can be either like heaven or like hell. Thanks, Captain Obvious. You are just a genius, aren't you? Don't say that another place is there which is more beautiful than this, which is better than this. This is because you are living badly. You think there's another place where you will go and live well. How dare people find comfort in the promises of eternity during challenges and difficulties in life? What awful people! All the sort of people that they say they went to heaven, I don't want to be in their company. Explain? So this is the idea of heaven. It's supposed to be very beautiful, but once you go there, there's no way out. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to go there. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah, because nobody wants to stay in a place of eternal ultimate fulfillment and joy in the presence of God. They would rather be in a place of death, sorrow, pain, and away from the presence and perfect relationship with the Creator. Makes total sense. I can see why you call yourself Sad Guru, because Sad perfectly describes your level of wisdom. Your nonsense could confuse a GPS and leave it lost in a desert.